What about the Iron Dome? What about the Israeli intelligence? Did they all fail? There's something called an Iron Dome. It's a missile defense system that repels attacks. Within the past hour, Hamas fired a barrage of hundreds of rockets towards southern Israel. Israel's Iron Dome is a nearly impenetrable air defense system. It has been in operation since 2011 and has intercepted thousands of rockets fired by militants in Gaza and Lebanon. It has an intercept rate of about 90 percent, according to the Israeli military. It is one of the most high-tech defense systems in the world that automatically intercepts and destroys any rocket fired at Israel before it can cause any damage. Billions and billions of dollars in aid from the U.S. and U.N. have been spent to create and maintain it since 2011. However, Hamas has managed to find a flaw in the design of the Iron Dome and, as a result, infiltrate Israel. So what happened? How and why did the Iron Dome fail. Join us as we reveal the shocking reason Israel's Iron Dome air defense failed. Before we go into details, we need to first explain how the Iron Dome works. Israel's Iron Dome is a land-based system that intercepts and destroys short-range rockets and mortars launched by enemies. It is designed to protect populated areas from the threat of rocket attacks, especially from the Gaza Strip and Lebanon. It is part of a multi-tiered missile defense system that Israel has developed to counter various types of projectiles from mortars to intercontinental ballistic missiles. Back in the 1990s, Hezbollah, based in Lebanon, launched rockets into northern Israeli population centers, creating a significant security challenge for the Israeli Defense Forces. At that time, Israel had considered the possibility of developing its own short-range anti-missile system. However, U.S. defense officials expressed skepticism, warning that such an endeavor was likely to fail. In 2004, the concept of the Iron Dome system gained traction when Brigadier General Daniel Gold assumed leadership of the Research and Development Bureau within the Israel Defense Forces. Gold was a staunch supporter of the anti-missile project and went as far as bending army contracting rules to secure funding. He also played a vital role in convincing key politicians to endorse the project. After enduring a series of rocket attacks, Defense Minister Amir Peretz eventually chose the Iron Dome as Israel's defense against the threat of short-range rockets. Since then, this $210 million system has been developed through a collaborative effort between Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and the Israel Defense Forces. In 2000, in seven, recognizing the urgent need for an effective defense against rocket attacks, Israel embarked on the ambitious project of developing the Iron Dome system. This decision led to an interesting choice. Instead of relying on a major American defense contractor like Lockheed Martin, Israel entrusted its own contractor, Rafael, with a task. This choice highlighted Israel's commitment to developing indigenous defense solutions. At the heart of the Iron Dome's success is its sophisticated battle management system, a critical component responsible for tracking incoming threats, coordinating the system's response. This crucial system's programming was entrusted to the Israeli company Impress Systems, known for its expertise in complex software development. Their involvement played a pivotal role in shaping the Iron Dome into the formidable defense system it is today. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Iron Dome's development was its speed. From the initial concept on paper, the system transitioned to full combat readiness in less than four years. This rapid development timeline defied conventional expectations for the creation of a cutting-edge weapon system from scratch. Military experts and observers worldwide were impressed by Israel's ability to not only conceive such a system, but also bring it into operational use in record time. The Iron Dome consists of three main components, a radar unit, a control center, and a launcher. The radar unit detects incoming rockets and calculates their speed and trajectory. The control unit processes the information and decides whether to intercept the rocket or not based on its estimated point of impact. If the rocket poses a danger to a populated area, the control center commands the launcher to fire an interceptor missile that destroys the rocket in mid-air, preferably away from populated areas. The interceptor missile is guided by an internal radar that receives constant updates from the control center. The Iron Dome has been in operation since 2011 and has intercepted thousands of rockets fired by militants in Gaza and Lebanon. It has an intercept rate of about 90 percent, according to the
the Israeli military. The system is mobile and can be deployed wherever it is needed. Each battery can defend an area of about 155 square kilometers. The system can operate in all weather conditions and at any time of day or night. The Iron Dome was originally developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems without U.S. assistance. However, since 2011, the U.S. has provided financial support for the program as part of its larger package of military aid to Israel. In 2014, the U.S. military contractor Raytheon Technologies began co-producing Iron Dome with Rafael, making some of the components for the interceptor missiles. Some of the batteries are also made in the U.S. The Iron Dome is considered a vital component of Israel's defense strategy as it reduces the casualties and damage caused by rocket attacks. It also gives the Israeli government more time and flexibility to decide how to respond to such attacks without being pressured by public opinion or international criticism. However, the system is not perfect and has one flaw. It cannot intercept every rocket, especially when faced with a large barrage of projectiles. And that is exactly what happened this time. For many years now, Hamas, the military group that controls the Gaza Strip, has been trying to break through Israel's Iron Dome. What adds to the complexity of the situation is Hamas's continuous development of its crude rocket technology. Over the years, they have managed to enhance both the range and accuracy of their rockets. This expansion in range has enabled them to target major Israeli cities, including Tel Aviv and even Jerusalem, previously considered beyond their reach. This strategic evolution has created new challenges for Israel's defense apparatus. Considering the cost factor as well, a rocket launched by Hamas is significantly cheaper than the Tamir missile fired by the Iron Dome to intercept it. However, the Iron Dome's worth extends well beyond a straightforward cost analysis. It has proven its metal time and again by neutralizing threats and, most importantly, saving lives. During a prior conflict with Hamas in 2012, Israel claimed a relatively successful interception rate of 85% for the 400 rockets fired from the Gaza Strip. These rockets were menacingly aimed at both civilian and strategic targets, and yet the Iron Dome managed to thwart the majority of them. In the more prolonged and intense 2014 conflict, Hamas unleashed over 4,500 rockets over several days. Remarkably, Israel intercepted over 800 of these projectiles, boasting an impressive success rate of 90%. In 2020, one, Israel announced that it had upgraded the Iron Dome to make it even more effective and versatile. The new version of the system can handle a wider range of aerial threats, including simultaneous attacks from multiple drones, which are becoming more common in modern warfare. The Iron Dome can also intercept larger and faster rockets and missiles, such as those fired by Iran or its proxies. The upgraded Iron Dome was put to the test in May of 2021 when a violent conflict erupted between Israel and Hamas and Gaza. Gaza. The militant group launched a massive barrage of rockets, more than 4,500 in total, aiming to overwhelm the Iron Dome's capacity and hit Israeli cities and towns. However, the Iron Dome proved its worth once again, intercepting about 90% of the rockets and saving countless lives and properties. The system also shot down several drones that Hamas tried to use to infiltrate Israeli airspace. The Iron Dome's impressive performance in the 2021 conflict demonstrated how Israel has been able to adapt and improve its defense capabilities in response to the evolving challenges and threats in the region. The system also shows how it can provide Israel with more time and options to deal with the situation diplomatically without having to resort to a ground invasion or excessive force. The Iron Dome is not only a technological marvel, but also a strategic asset for Israel's security and stability. However, Hamas has now finally cracked the code. The near-perfect air defense system has found itself overpowered after a barrage of rockets from Hamas. In a recent escalation of violence, Hamas launched more than 5,000 rockets in a span of 20 minutes, hoping to overwhelm the Iron Dome's capacity to track and destroy all targets. This was the largest salvo attack a simultaneous or rapid fire of multiple rockets that Hamas has ever attempted, and it tested the limits of the Iron Dome's technology and resources. While the Iron Dome destroyed many, avoiding hundreds of casualties, some of them managed to breach the cover and hit the Israeli territory. Also, some critics argue that the Iron Dome may encourage Israel to avoid addressing the root causes of the conflict with its neighbors, such as the occupation of Palestinian territories and the lack of a political solution. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.